variety is the spice of life. And here in Chengdu, Sichuan province, the variety of spice is incredible. Today, we'll get a taste of old, new culture and food, and plenty of spices in fascinating Chengdu. Next, on Martin Yan's China. Chengdu is the bustling capital of Sichuan province. It's a modern city with a rich history. And it's also one of the hottest cities in all of China. And hey, I'm not talking about the weather. Chengdu is also one of the great chili pepper capitals of the world. Look at this. There are all kinds of chili here. There are long chili. There are short chili. There are small chili. And there are very, very short, fat chili. <laughs> Just looking at the chili makes me sneeze. This is Hua Jiao Sichuan peppercorn. This is the very ingredient give Sichuan cuisine is very unique personality and character. Mmm, spicy and numbing. They're all kind of Sichuan peppercorn. Hua Jiao pink peppercorn. Brown peppercorn, green peppercorn, they're slightly different in, in terms of uh, numbness and personality and aroma, but I like them all. Depends on what dishes I'm doing. Chilies are used fresh, dry, pickle, and of course, in the region's famous chili paste and chili oil. Now look at this, it's red. I can tell this is very hot. They're all slightly different intensity. Some are harder than the other. Some are spicier than the other. You know, this is enough to spice up an entire city's life. In a spice market, you see all kinds of spices. Look at that. Everybody know what this is. Bay leaf, of course, okay? Now, how about nutmeg here? Ah, this is it. Cinnamon spark. This is the spark of the whole cinnamon. Mmm, smells good. And then not only that, ah, we have caraway seed, ah, star anise. Hey, this is just the right place to spice up your life. Sichuan is the most populous province in China with 135 million people. On any given day during the weekday, you see tens of thousands of people walking and strolling and shopping on the street of Chengdu, Sichuan. All those people work up a gigantic appetite and there is fantastic food to snack on everywhere you look. If you like duck, hey, at this stand, you can get every part of the duck you can imagine. Ah, just pawn and ah, they put it on your bill. Duck gizzard, duck wing, Sichuan spicy duck tongue, duck feet. Let me see. <laughs> this is specialty. Everything is left over duck. I'm quite sure you know that somewhere along the line, there's duck that are not talking. And this is not much to eat but it's actually delicious. You can tell that people in Chengdu love to eat. You see many restaurants in one single building. Everybody loves hamburger, huh? all over the world. This is the Sichuan hamburger. Braised pork or beef. You stuff it in. Sichuan burger. Ah, the first time to have a burger outside of U.S. of A. <laughs> this is Sichuan burger. Let me see. There's no sesame seed. You see this? Burger. Inside there.
juicy, succulent, spicy, mm, out of this world. When I come to Chengdu, Sichuan, this is where I come. Uh, the Sun Xing Tea House. Here, I can taste the best Sichuan cuisine. Besides, they have a Yi Jing fortune teller. It is an old tradition in Sichuan for friends to get together, to eat and to chat at a tea house. But this place is very special. <laughs> I hope you can read Chinese. I'm going to have my fortune told by the Yi Jing master inside. First, the master has me toss three Yi Jing coins to see what they can tell me about what is in store. I'm going to take a look at this, how he write. <clears throat> he said, I have good talent. I am capable of doing a lot of things as long as I try hard enough. Besides using this coin, they use the card, like a deck of cards, but this deck of cards actually is in Chinese. Look at that, it's in Chinese. All of these cards is in Chinese. Because both of the cards that I pick, one card I got six points, another card I got 8.5 points. All together, at another 55 points, I have less than 70 points, 69.5 points. points. That means uh, I will encounter some problem and uh, some difficulty in uh, trying to fulfill my dream doing Chinese programs for the Chinese audience. That means he asked me to be patient. With those sobering words from the master, it is time to lighten up and rejoin my friends for snacks and tea in the tea house. Well, you never know just what the future will bring. But one thing is for sure. Here in Chengdu, when friends get together at the tea house, the joys of friendship and the fabulous food are a sure thing. Oh, just in case you don't know what I'm doing here, this is the dry chili. Uh, elderly lady gave it to me as a gift when I was touring around the spice market in the capital city of, of Sichuan, Chengdu. Ah, I precious gift. I'm going to keep this for a long, long time. I'm going to put this right over here. I love it. Every time I pick this up, it reminds me of those wonderful memories that I have walking around mm, the aroma from the spice market in Chengdu. Here, you see all kinds of spices. Everybody look. This is, everybody knows this turmeric, okay? Uh, this is ginger powder, five spice powder, citron peppercorn powder, crushed chili, nutmeg, and this is white pepper, and this is crushed pepper, and this is deep fried shallot. And of course, citron peppercorn and black peppercorn. And dry spice is very, very good. And here, I'm gonna do a dish called the Sichuan Spice Market Fish. Here, I have some chili. I love chili. Uh, you see, cut it up, cut it up, and cut it up, and this is all we need. And I put it right over here for our dish, okay? And I also have a tiny type of tomato. I'm gonna have some cherry tomato. I pick this up, ah, I slice it in half. Look at this. I'm gonna use parallel cutting technique. I hold onto this and I go one, two, and three. And I put it also right here. And then I have a piece of fish. This is rockfish. You can use fresh, you can use, you can use catfish. And I cut it up and I slice like this and a slice like this, and a slice, just like the uh, sushi chef. I cut it and I towards my hand, and I cut it like this, all oh, beautiful pieces, like that. And I put this right here, and then we're gonna marinate the fish, okay? Here, we marinate the fish, very simple marinade, okay? We'll put the fish right over here. Ah, this is gonna be beautiful. Okay, put a tiny bit of salt, not much, just a tiny bit of salt and a tiny bit of cornstarch, okay? Tiny bit of cornstarch to help to seal in the juice, okay? And I put a tiny bit of oil on the bottom, this way it coats really well, okay? And I put a tiny, tiny bit of oil, not much, and then, now, this is what I'm gonna do. I put black peppercorn, citron peppercorn, garlic, and ginger, 
and a tiny bit of chili. Tiny bit of chili. Also, and put it in, and also, look at this. Pickle chili. Fresh chili. All kind of chili. This is gonna be so beautiful. Mmm. Very good, okay? And then I put the marinated fish right here and let it cook for a little while. Mmm, okay, look at this. This is beautiful. Okay, and then look at it. I would like to have some extra Sichuan peppercorn and extra garlic and extra Sichuan chili paste and tiny bit of ketchup to give that nice, beautiful color. Either ketchup or tomato paste. And then I will put a tiny bit of broth. Oh, beautiful. And I cover this up and I let it braise a little bit, okay? In the meantime, I'm gonna get this ready. And this is green onion, cilantro stem, and tomato. In fact, I like tomato and the cherry tomato so much, I'm gonna put all of this in. I'm gonna open this because it doesn't take too long to cook. Look at that, huh. this is basically done. And I put the rest of the stuff right in here to make it look beautiful. Look at that, look at the color, huh? Look at the color. This is amazingly delicious. Just have enough. Mm, look at this. You don't want to overcook this. Right before I serve, I'm gonna get some juke. This is the porridge. And the beautiful porridge is being served in many, many parts of China, okay? In all over China, in Shanghai, they have joke. Guangzhou, they have joke. They have all kind of jokes. And then I'm gonna put this over here and sprinkle a tiny bit of these right over here. Sprinkle a tiny bit of things right over here. A tiny bit of this right over here as a garnish. And this is the joke. And then we serve in this beautiful plate right here and then I want to show you look at look at this take take a look at this this is beautiful I brace it I reduce so it's nice and it's beautiful and I slice the whole thing right over here mm, this is absolutely gorgeous look at this everybody can definitely do this at home this is a beautiful dish I just have prepared for you. Sichuan Spice Market Fish. Next, more in the modern city of Chengdu. When I'm in Chengdu, there is one place I always love to go. It is called Jinli Street. Jinli, yeah, one of the most popular streets in Chengdu. Inside there, there are all kinds of shops and all kinds of Greek food. Ah, for me, it's a shopping and eating arcade. Now, looks like we're going back time. This is a typical of the architecture, woodworking and color of all the architectural style during the period of the Three Kingdom. Look at this. This is typical of the woodworking during the period of the Three Kingdoms. Look at that. Oak like simple but good craftsmanship. Ever since the third century BC, Jinli has always been the center of commerce and trade. Look at this old photo taken right here of a beautiful old woman. On Jingli Street, people have been fashion conscious for thousands of years. She is impeccably dressed in a typical women's outfit of the 1920s and the 30s. On the street of Jinli in the old days, you can find men, gentlemen, doing a mending of your clothes. And hey, you want to shorten your sleeve, hey, he would do it. This gentleman is a master of bro candy. He's a candy maker. He can make all kinds of animals, all kinds of shapes and size of anything you want. Look at this, this is the caramelized sugar. Over 100 degrees centigrade. Insert your finger and get a little cavity inside. Then you close. It. So that means there's air trapped inside, so you can blow it. And then la elongated stretch it. So there will be a little too. This takes as much skill as glass blowing. But the difference is, these are works of art you can actually eat. He's making a little bowl from nothing more than sugar and air. Now 
Now here is the pool fight. Oh, 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 oh. This pool fight. And I am going to give these to this gentleman right here, okay? This is my new fun friend. And this is for you. This is yours. Song to you. Thank you. This is for you. Thank you. Thank you. When you go to a Chinese restaurant in North America, there's a big bowl of steamed rice. But this is different. This is cooked rice gluten. It's rice cooked in a pineapple. <laughs> Let me check. It looks like it's, it smells sweet, OK? Mm. Scoop it out. It smells good. It smells like pineapple. Nice and smooth and juicy and with a tint of pineapple flavor. I love it. Hey, this is not a unique Chengdu uh, snack. You look at it. All of these are very hot and spicy, you can tell. Look at the chili. Look at the chili. Hot and spicy. I'm going to try this. A piece of meat or a piece of uh, intestine, some kind. Uh, um, let me close my eye and taste this. I don't want to look at it, okay? Mmm, crunchy, delicious, and very spicy. Woo! Very unique Chengdu specialty. Another unique one. Ah, yeah. This is sao niao niu ren. It's beef ball. <laughs> a very unique beef ball, not just a regular beef ball. Ah, uh, because it's soup filled beef ball. Inside there, inside there. When you buy into it, you got juice coming out. Look at this. When the sun goes down on Jinli Street, that's when the real show begins. This is traditional shadow puppet. And we're going to enjoy it now. Wow. Behind this screen is a master. This is the shadow puppet play. These are made by masters, made from Cap High, beautifully handcrafted. And the master behind is doing a fighting scene uh, during the uh, period of the Three Kingdoms. Look at the movement, very natural, very fluid. Very real, just like real people fighting. Isn't it amazing? This is the fourth generation Sichuan puppet master. And now he's teaching the fifth generation, his two daughters. This ancient art is alive and well in Chengdu, beyond a shadow of a doubt. Rain or shine, day or night, Jinli Street is always full of people. Look at that full of people shopping and having a good time. This is how my mom does that too. There's no food processor, no meat grinder. Because I'm going to do a dish very famous. Sichuan glass noodle with ground meat. Ha, ah, just like five crackers. Oh, beautiful. Celebration, okay? When this is all nice and done, I'm gonna put this right over here. You know why I prefer to do it like this? Because this way, not every single piece is exactly the same size. So when you bind to it, texture contrast. Some are slightly smaller, some are slightly bigger. And then I'm gonna quickly marinate this, okay? I marinate this with a tiny bit of light soy and a tiny bit of dark soy. A tiny bit of light soy and a tiny bit of dark soy. And always remember, use cornstarch. Very important, okay? And because this is ground meat, I don't want to, I want to make it easier. So what I'm going to do is, instead of just using this, I also put a few drops of oil here, okay? And then I want to introduce you, this particular one, I will do the wonderful glass noodle with ground meat. Now you have the ground meat, okay? You can use beef, you can use lamb, you can use chicken, you can use any meat, okay? Look at this, hot oil. I put it over here, ha! Look at that, and I put them right over here, and this is, they puff up instantly, and this is what we have. We set it over here, and then we let it drain 
for a few seconds, let it drain, and I put it, I slide it right over here and use this as a garnish. Okay, I let it drain for a little bit. This would be the bottom of our dish and use as a garnish. I soak up the oil. In the meantime, we let this cook, okay? We'll put a tiny, tiny bit of oil, okay? Tiny bit of oil. This is a Sichuan dish, Sichuan glass noodle. Ma Yi Shang Su is, uh, the actual name is called Ants Climbing the Tree <laughs> because it's so interesting. And then I put a tiny, tiny bit of chili, chili sauce right here, chili sauce. Okay, and I put a tiny bit of chili and green onion. Oh, beautiful. And I put the ground meat, okay? And it's so beautiful. And when you stir, make sure you break it up. When you have a tiny bit of oil, then it's easy to break it up. Look at this, it is beautiful. Very nice. In the meantime, while I'm doing this, this is about half done, okay? And I turn it up. Oh, beautiful. And I had put a tiny bit of sesame oil. The Sichuan cuisine, they love same sesame seed oil, okay? Sesame seed oil is very, very widely used. Oh, it's very aromatic, okay? This is almost ready. And then we'll put the glass noodle right here and put it right in, put it dry, okay? And then when I cook this, I cook it like this. Use a chopstick. Use a chopstick. And then when this is done, let me show you. It is very good. And this is done, I'm gonna put it on a plate. Look at this. I put this cellophane noodle right on top of here. Uh -huh. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? And then I will make a little sauce out of these with extra chili. Oh, a little chili. A little chili. Okay. Now, this is beautiful. And then I put just enough to put it right on top. And this is like end climbing up the tree. Very, very popular dish. It's just like they're all climbing up uh, the tree. Beautiful. Everybody can do it. Look at this. And in the meantime, right before I serve, I'm going to put a tiny bit of chai right here. Put a little chili ring. And then this is so easy to do. Everybody can do it, okay? Look at this, very nice. This is the Sichuan glass noodle. Everybody can enjoy a specialty of spicy Sichuan dish. If Yan can cook spicy and hot Sichuan recipes, so can you. Jai Jian.